is what the film looks like and it already has like the photo packet here and I think this is the ink and you basically just load it and we reload it. Same picture. This isn't paired. Press and hold it here. It lights up. I'm also not quite sure why it moved. So it's white here. I don't really know why it did that. I just realized you can actually like zoom in, zoom out like that. I think that's cute. So I'm just going to replace the cartridge really quick. This actually came out so nice. Wow. That is so sharp and so perfect. Device not connected until it lights up. At the top it tells you what percentage it's on and how many photos are left. So this is the Canon Ivy and honestly it is really really dark as you can see. Way different than the original photo. I don't know why Canon always comes out so dark but that's what I've noticed. And then Kodak. This looks so sharp besides the fact that I couldn't align it in the app. This one actually came out so good. The colors are literally perfect and stacks doesn't really compare to the two but i just thought it would be fun to put it in here alongside them and it actually came out really good i must say like the colors aren't that bad and i also feel like canon really bends and i'm not really sure why i'm trying to bend it back but this is a photo i took in antigua and i just love it i thought it was so peaceful Pretty sharp. Canon came out really, really blue. That's not shocking because the colors are really off. At the top, actually, with the Kodak, you just snap it in half to get rid of that. Kodak came out really, really nice. This actually came out very, very vintage looking, and I actually really, really love it. This was a really good photo that my sister took down at the Virgin Islands. So it's a pretty sharp photo as you could see. It's like pretty smooth. Kodak came out really nice, but so did the Instax, which is surprising for Polaroid because I feel like it's Polaroid. I don't expect it to look so sharp, but it does. Canon actually didn't come out too bad. With Canon, no matter how you crop it, it's still gonna blow it up to the full size of this. But on Kodak, you can literally like crop it so that it's only like this corner piece and that's how it will print. Crop the photo however small you want and put it here, you could put it in the middle, you could put it in that corner, this corner, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like if you put it here, that's how it will print and this entire page will come out white. As you can see, like, this is how it was cropped in the app and this is how it printed like that's why the bottom is white and 
in Canon, you can't do that. Like, you can crop it however you want, and it's still going to, like, blow it up to be the size of this. 